Hey guys, it's Emily and this is Emily Lou Arts. And today I wanted to come face to face because we don't do that very often around here and talk to you about the things that I want for, okay, let me gather my brains together, my two brain cells, let me fire them up. I wanna talk about my 2020 planner wish list. Um, my 2020 journaling ideas, well, I don't know, conundrums, and uh, I think that might be it. I guess the accessories too that I'm wanting. So, okay, A. You guys know, so if you're new to this channel, um, welcome, I'm Emily. This is my face, you normally only see my hands, um, but this is the body that belongs to the digits. So, hey, uh, I'm a nurse and I'm in my parking garage at work, <laughs> getting ready to go into the old workplace today. Uh, and I really hope no one I work with sees me because this is awkward. But. I really was super lazy today and didn't do anything this morning and thought I could do this in the few minutes that I have left before I have to go in and clock in. So here we are. So you guys know my little, <laughs> little, <laughs> um, this is my girl. She's from Mystic's Little Gifts and she is a pocket Traveler's Notebook in sand with pink elastics. She is the extra wide eight string lady. She's big and she is beautiful. All right. And I love her. So <laughs> I showed you guys that I switched into her yesterday and I'm loving it. Um, and I mean, despite the fact that it's huge, it's still quite small. Like it, you know, fits in my hands and it fits in my little, like, this is the bag that I bring to work. Like it fits in my work bag. Um, and somebody, I just read a comment. Somebody was like, why don't you just use like a standard size notebook or whatever? And then you won't need so much, so many elastics. And I'm like, that's a good point. Valid, valid point. But I just like that. It's so little and cute and it just makes me so happy. So anyways, um, it fits in my, I usually carry like a tote bag and so it fits in my tote bag just fine and I like it. It's just, ooh, you're, you're gonna squeeze it. Um, so while I have standard traveler's notebooks, I, I'm going to keep her. Like she's, I love her. So. Uh, that was a good suggestion and I might in the future. Let's be honest, I probably will at some point because I am change every five minutes. But for now, I'm very happy with her and she makes me happy to look at and to squeeze and to love. So, um, and she's also the receptacle for a lot of my decoration things like my deco die cuts and um, my newfound obsession with Shine Sticker Studio. A lot of that stuff goes in her. So. Uh, that's that's kind of what I um, am thinking as far as that goes. She will be in the rotation. Um, she might be my like my carry, the thing that goes in my bag. Um, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm looking at myself. I don't. We've been through this. I don't know where to look. So um, yeah, she'll be in my bag. And the thing that I'm thinking that I want for a planner, maybe that stays at home, is the A set. The Hobonichi A6, no, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. The Hobonichi A5 Cousin of Vec. Um, I have lusted over that notebook for quite some time and never pulled the trigger. Um, and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm really loving the idea of that. So I think I'm gonna get the, the Hobonichi a5 cousin avec the avec version means that it comes in two books which is definitely going to be key for me 
like J January through June and then July through December or something like that. I don't know how they break it up, but at any rate, I've learned with my A6 that I like, I will split it up because that will, my journal has gotten very thick. And that's the video where I tore it apart. So anyway, which thankfully did not go as awry as I discovered that it could have <laughs> from all of you who were like, slow your roll lady, you almost just did something really bad. And I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> And I want it to be something that stays on my counter at home, like my kitchen counter, that, that can stay open. Because the drawback of my little, my big lady here is she doesn't stay open very well. You know what I mean? Like if I want to have her open on my counter, it doesn't really work. You've seen like I have to like put something like right here to keep her open if I want to like just leave that open. So... Um, like it would be nice to have it left open every day to like my my week or my to-do list without having you know I mean I've got my handy little dandy tabs well you can't really see them here but um, I'd like to have something that just lays open um, on my counter that's why it would kind of be like a home thing and the a5 would stay open um, and I like the A5 because it's got your monthly views, it's got 52 weekly views, and the weekly view is key for me. I love a good vertical weekly view. Love it. Super functional for me. And then it has daily pages. And that's what had held me back in the past was I didn't think I had enough to use all those daily pages for, and I didn't want them to be blank um, because I wasn't planning on journaling in it. But now what I think I'm going to do is use like the top half as like bullet journal, like to-do list, like I make in my little daily pages. And then the bottom half, like just a journal of like general things that happened that day. Um, not like in depth, like, dear journal, I'm devastated. You know, like not my deepest, darkest thoughts kind of journaling, just like, like mem, like memories or some, you know, main points of the day things that happen because sometimes I always don't get into my techo to journal and I'm trying to think back like oh what happened last Wednesday I don't even remember um and that might be a helpful way for me to remember like the high points kind of until I can like kind of memory keep them in my whatever journal I'm using so I kind of like that idea um and I kind of like the idea of using stickers in it um, like my Shine Sticker Studio kits in it, or I might use, keep my kits for my pocket and make that kind of like my decorative thing. I'm not sure. I don't know, guys. So yes, the A5. Journaling, as far as journaling goes, I don't know what I'm going to use next year. I don't know if I'm going to get another A6 Techo, if I'm going to journal in Hobonichi at all. I am not sure yet, you guys. I don't know. I've I am really torn. I I love ha how I've had all my journaling together this year. That's re been really fun. But I've also missed making my own junk journals and journals like that. I've missed that a lot. And I just recently made a magazine journal that I haven't shown you guys yet. And it's like, I, I would love to be journaling in it, but I can't because I have my Techo. And it's like I don't have enough to journal and you know both of them or whatever so that's kind of sitting unused and you know how antsy I get I, I love being able to change it up so I don't know I'm just I'm obviously having a stroke no I just don't know what I'm gonna do right now I there's such pros and cons to each one that I don't know and the last thing was, oh, the accessories for the A5 that I want. So at first I was like, I want this one to look a little bit more like not so, bleh. Um, but then everything that I saw that caught my eye for it was like, <laughs> like I saw the jelly covers from Salty Katie 
the black one really caught my eye. I don't know why, just like the black with the holographic stars and like glitter. Super profesh. So then I was like, okay, well, so then I want cute tabs. And then she actually has cute holographic tabs, Salty Katie does. And then there's also really pretty tabs on rose colored days. And then I was like, well, I kind of want to like holographic decal with my name to put on the front of my jelly cover. <laughs> mm, guys. So like in my mind, my perfect thing would be the te the Evec with a black jelly cover. I don't know why black is not my thing normally, but I was drawn to the black one because it was like the most opaque one or otherwise I liked the purple and I liked the I liked all the colors, but see the color of the actual Techo is, I think the first January through June is like a light yellow maybe, or light blue. And then the other one is the other color or flip flop, I can't remember. So I didn't know how that would look with like a semi-transparent jelly. I didn't know if that would change the color. Is I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but the black is really pretty opaque. So that just appealed to me for some reason. I was like, ooh, sexy. I want that. I want it. Uh, I do want that. And then the last thing that I wanted to say was um, that I was on my YouTube, like usually I respond to comments and everything on my phone because I do everything for my YouTube channel on my phone, like film and edit and upload. I don't have a camera. And so I have the YouTube app and that's where I respond to you guys' comments and stuff. And on there, I, I didn't see or it didn't show me that it had been holding comments for like, um, that it's deemed as spam or inappropriate or whatever. So there was like 30 comments or something from, I don't know, you know, recent and past comments that when I logged into the actual, my actual YouTube um, and I was looking at the comments there, um, I saw this file that said, you know, like flagged or whatever. And I was like, what's this? Um, and so a bunch of comments that you guys had left for one reason or another, I don't know, YouTube deemed them as like either spam or like questionably appropriate or whatever. Um, so I don't know. Oh, there's someone getting in their car right next to me. That's so awkward. So I don't know. Um, I didn't respond to you and I really do try and respond to all of you guys' comments. <laughs> Not gonna see here. Uh, so if I didn't respond to your comment and it's been a long time because a lot of them were so sweet and they were like in response to the video that I made where I told you guys I was struggling and stuff and you were just so kind and supportive and and I didn't respond because I didn't know that you had left the comment because YouTube put it in it, a special folder because it wanted to piss me off. So anyway, I I didn't realize that. So I'm sorry, you guys. And surprisingly, none of them were inappropriate. There was only one. There was only one that said um, something along the lines of like, you need to repent and find Jesus. And <laughs> that surprised me. There was only one. <laughs> like, I know I need Jesus. I I have Jesus and I probably do need to repent. <laughs> I'm surprised that more people don't tell me that, but there was actually only one in there. Uh, so anyways, the rest of them were totally fine. And it was funny that they were flagged inappropriate because sometimes it was like you repeating back or like putting in quotes something that I said myself in the video and then YouTube deemed that as inappropriate. <laughs> so it wouldn't let you post the comment. But it'll let me post a video. It just is ludicrous. It makes me no. It makes no sense. So, anyways, I wish I could just stay and chat with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully post this as soon as I can, and we can have a discussion about what you guys are lusting after next year or for next year, and currently, and why it's sad that we just can't buy all the things. So I hope you guys are having a great week and that this is not too annoying with my eyes darting around everywhere. Um, I'm generally squirrely, but not this squirrely. So 
I will talk to you guys later. And if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and stick around and uh, come back for journaling and planner stuff and just a general, general life chats because I think that we have a really good thing going here and it makes me really happy. So I hope you'll stick around and it'll make you happy too. So thanks guys. Bye.